the stretch. There goes Guess. The pitch missed outside. The throw down to second is not even close. He is safe. Single 16 driven in. He swings and misses here. And down he goes for the first out for Central Baptist. The wind and the 0 2 pitch on the way. Strike three called. So Logan McCall with his second strikeout helping staff the game. 1 2 pitch. It is in the air. It's a shallow center field. On comes Allen and he slides and makes the catch. Or did he? No. Now they're going to say that it popped out of his glove. Safe. Third base up. First and second, one out. This is the same situation he was in in the first inning. There's a swing and a ground ball headed for left. That's a hit around third. Andy Shatsley waves Thomas home to throw to the plate. Safe at the plate. And everybody else is going to move up because the ball gets past the catcher, Kuczynski, and back to the screen. So an RBI single for Nolan Ferdy. So the stretch from Clark. 1-0 pitch on the way. And it is lined to left field. On comes the left fielder, Nichols, and he cannot make the catch. Here comes Guest to score around third. Furtick is being waved home, and Vandover is going to wind up third. At third, and the Bisons now have a 3 to nothing lead. A two-run single by Zach Beasley. He delivers the 2-1 pitch on the way. And it is in the air up the right field line. Long run for Friends. He's going to make the catch over near the line. He fell down. Vandover tags, he'll score easily. And so it is four to nothing for Bison's Great American Conference Championships. There's a swing and a ball hit deep to left field. Back goes Nichols and gone. Luke Vandover drove it over the left field wall. And Nichols just watched it sail over his head. And a home run gives the Bison's a five to nothing advantage. Luke Vandover with his third home run of the season and his 28th run driven in. Logan McCall, right the opposite of his counterpart, Clark, who's pitched behind most of the evening. There is strike three called. He has pitched ahead, and that is his third strikeout of the game. One pitch on the way. is hit hard back up the middle, and that is not in the center field for a leadoff hit. Bailey with a leadoff single here in the sixth inning. It's sharply right past Crosley. Time of the evening the wind will die down. Not so right now. He's showing bunts. It is a safety squeeze, and the run's going to score. Bailey scores. Parrott is out at first, but it's an RBI for Parrott. Now the 2 2 pitch on the way. Third ball, swing and a miss. Fourth strikeout for Logan McCall. He scores. Network, one two pitch, and that's lined to right field for a hit. Jack Thomas just lined that 92 mile an hour fastball the opposite field for a hit. Find it now. Base is loaded and a slow roller to first. The only play is going to be two first. A run scores. Taylor scores. Yes, the RBI ground. They go back across. goes to first, pitch is hit hard to right. The runner does not realize it. Taylor makes the catch, throw back to first, double play, and the inning is over. It was hit sharply, but right at the right fielder, Taylor. And the base runner, Allen, did not realize it until he got almost a second. Then he turned around and tried to get back to first, but it wasn't close. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Swing and a miss, and the Bisons win it. Matt Cherry gets the strikeout, and the Bisons win it. 7-2 over Central Baptist.